What's up guys, welcome back. So hey, if this is your first time here, my name's Tim, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way, the best way, I think, to start a vending machine business, or also the best way to expand your vending machine business if you already have one. So if you guys are starting a vending machine business, or you already have one, also another great resource, Vending Revolution Facebook page. You guys are gonna wanna go check that out because there's like years and years and years of experience in the vending in the vending uh, industry and if you have some small questions big questions all kinds of questions there's plenty of people there to willing to help you so go over to the vending revolution facebook page and sign up and you know show us what you got and hopefully we can help you out me myself i'm still new to the game but this is something i want to show you guys so i'm going to bring you with me um, i'm going to turn audio on so you'll hear all the audio of the actual pitches and then uh, i'm just going to show you guys some old footage of me playing claw machines during those pitches so all right Enjoy this video and I'll um, see you in a minute after the whatever. Stick around, don't go anywhere. Alright guys, so I'm pulling up to this Domino's right here. And uh, I'm going to go see if they'll take a box of them. It's early, it's 10.30, I think they like just opened. So I'm going to pop up in there and make them take one of these boxes, I hope so. And there's a Thai place right next door, so I'm going to try that out too. So wish me luck guys. Here we go. Oh yeah, also, um, instead of doing the shaky camera thing, I'm just going to record audio, and then I got the GoPro recording like the front of the store, so hopefully this is cool with you guys. Alright, let's do this. Okay, here we go. It's so windy. It's so cold. How you doing, man? So uh, I run a small vending machine business here in town, and uh, we're trying to raise money for Feeding America. And I was going to see if I could leave this here just on the counter somewhere. Or... Uh, so our corporate policy is that we can't have anything like non-dominoes related in the front of the store. Oh, right? no. oh, really? You guys have like a break room or something we might be able to put uh, in? No, not necessarily. Okay. We just have like our back. Just a little like, back area. Lobby area. Okay, right on. Hey, I appreciate. It. So it'd probably be a no to like having gumball machines too. Same kind of situation. Yeah. All right, that. that's okay, man. Thank you very much. All right, so that was a no for Domino's. So we're gonna go try this Thai place right next door. Good morning. Hello, hi. I was wondering, I, I run a small vending machine business and we're trying to raise money to, uh, for feed charity. And I was wondering if you guys would be interested in that. No? All right, thank you very much. All right, we're gonna try the cyber out there in place. Good morning. How you doing? Hi, um, I run a small vending machine business and we're trying to raise money for charity and I'm going around placing these boxes and it's a free service and uh, I come back every week and refill it and stuff. I was wondering if you'd be interested in letting me place one of those boxes here. No? Okay, thank you. Alright, so that was three no's, but I gotta be honest, uh, that right there, Pro Nails was closed, the eyebrow threading place right there. There was, it was pretty empty in there, so it's probably not the best location. The Thai place, I'm not even sure they understood what I was saying. So, anyhow, let's go find a couple more spots, guys. All right, so I got a little less than an hour and a half to get these three boxes placed. So I'm not gonna give up, but if I do run out of time, I run out of time. But I'm, I'm literally gonna hit up every spot in this parking lot right here. So next, stop, super cuts. Are you ready? Uh, Good morning. Hi, my name's Tim and I, I run a small vending machine business and we're trying to help raise money for Feeding America. And I was wondering if I might be able to place this box here and I come back every week and check on it. If it's not a good fit, you know, I'd come back next week and, and pull it out of here, you know. Okay. 
Okay, so um, yeah, do you have like, like a number or anything? Are you coming to check? Yeah, I just I live here in town, and I just come in about I'll just come in every week, and I can leave leave my number. I actually made stickers for them, but they haven't came in yet. So uh, okay, yeah, yeah, just, I'm pretty sure you could. I'm like one of the managers, so I'm okay. like, I'm sure she'll okay with it. Okay, cool. So I just place just place like right here. Okay. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. What's up, guys? So at this point, I was pretty juiced. I placed my first box. Um, it was a yes, but I still don't know if the manager's gonna approve. So we'll see. So fingers are crossed that that place lands. But I was so juiced that I forgot to like record this part after I got it placed. So um, I had two more boxes to place, and um, I still have plenty of time. I had a job to go to at one o'clock, so I still have plenty of time. But um, I headed over to another shopping center that was about not even a mile. It was about a half a mile. It's actually closer to my house than where I originally started. So uh, this next uh, clip will be for me going into a uh, uh, a scores haircut, a haircut place. Oh yeah, also I was so excited I forgot to actually like take a picture of me placing the box. So I don't know. All right, let's go to the next spot. Hi, um, I, I run, my name's Tim and I run a small vending machine business here in town and we're trying to raise money uh, for Feeding America. And I was wondering if I might be able to leave the box here and I, I come back and check on it every week. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, let me see. Because we don't have a desiccated desk. Maybe just on top of the, the candy machines there. Okay, or, yeah. You can would that work? That, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. No and my phone number is on the back, too, if anything okay, happens. Sounds good. All right. Thanks so much. Nice meeting you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. guys thanks for coming along so that's three new locations for my vending machine business and the reason I say that this is the best easiest way to get new locations is well you walk in with the box it's very small it takes up the minimal amount of space on their countertops or their desk or reception area and then once you get the box in there you got your foot in the door so, so let's say you have some candy machines or even a snack machine or like a soda machine you know once you have uh, the box in there you start to develop a relationship with the business owners and the employees there and then you know that's when you're like hey you know I also have these candy machines you know maybe I could put a candy machine in here so thanks for watching the video guys I really hope uh, this could help you get over any kind of fear that you might have which is going out and knocking on doors and talking to people that you've never met before and actually asking them for something but the cool thing is yeah, you're you're merely only asking for a small little amount of space in order to put something to potentially help out a lot of hungry people in America. So um, that's what I'm really stoked about. And uh, a lot of people have a hard time saying no to a charity. So that's cool. That's cool for us. That's cool for the charity. And it just it works all the way around. So if you guys are trying to expand your vending machine business, Honor boxes are the way to go. Um, I got my honor boxes from vendingbusinesssolutions.com, and I will leave a link in the description below if you're interested in buying them. They're a cheap, affordable way to get into the vending business. So, uh, if you guys are at all interested, in, scroll below. There'll be a link for that. And um, like I said, if you already have a vending machine business and uh, you often have questions or you run into problems and you need someone to ask or bounce some ideas off of different people, go to the Facebook page, Vending Revolution and um, sign up or ask to be a member or whatever. Once you're approved, you have access to like literally probably like a hundred years of experience between all of the experienced vendors that are on there. A lot of, there's almost always somebody that can help you with uh, your, your question or your problem. So once again, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, you found any kind of value or if it was just fun to watch it, hit the thumbs up button for me, I really appreciate it. And we put out like two to three videos a week about vending and um, other other stuff, uh, money related, making money, uh, business related videos. The majority of them are vending videos, so if you like vending machine videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me and make sure to hit the bell notification so you don't miss videos. Alright, we'll see you in the next one.